Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to our channel. We're thrilled to share our next adventure with you as we explore the breathtaking town of El Calafate. In this video, we'll dive into everything you need to know to plan your visit, from must-see attractions to practical tips, prices, and more. Join us on this exciting journey and let's make your El Calafate experience unforgettable. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of our adventures. Let's go! We are in Argentina, yay! We are in El Calafate, Argentina, Patagonia, because of course, you know, we wanted to see the other side of Patagonia, the Argentinian side. Um, the plan was to go here, then to El Ch uh, Chatelain, and then maybe Ushuaia. I'm not sure, you know, if we're going to go to El Chatelain, although everybody says you have to have to, but they're more hikers and I'm, we're not hiking, so... I don't think we have to, <laughs> but we're going to be here for three nights, um, two full days, today's a half day, we're just going to chill, check out the, the town, That you know, it's a beautiful town we drove through not too long ago from the bus station, the border crossing was super easy, nobody asked anything, they didn't, they didn't even look at us too, too long, they just stamped our passport, whatever, um, this is our Airbnb, we already have our stuff spread out because we were looking for chargers to charge up all our stuff but yeah so this is the downstairs there's like a little fridge right here um there's a washing machine so that's good i can get me some washing done and back here i didn't go back here i think it's like yeah the dry drying rack here and just storage because she's still doing stuff on the house but yeah so this is kitchen you have a, a stove so that's good you can cook up a little something something table then you have the bathroom everything is clean it's, it's just you know as Kelly says uh, older place like somebody lives here <laughs> it's cozy okay so that's the bathroom um the stairs are super steep like i'm gonna break something going up and down these for three nights three days okay let me take my time and come up here because the struggle is so real yeah, she's disabled. they said i'm just whatever Take the towel, the, the dirty self on the towel, you guys. So this is the bedroom. There's a TV. And it is super warm up here. And she said there is more blankets that we can use. We have a double bed then a single bed. So three people can sleep if you come to this one. There's a heater back here. Nice little view. Yeah, so now we're just going to go into town. I'm going to get some food. Come here. Come here. Gonna get some come here. here. <laughs> and then I want to go check out the ice bar. I did one in, was it Vegas or Florida? I did one in one of those states that I lived in, you guys. I remember I'm old. But it is like 12, 13 bucks, unless it's changed since COVID, to get in. And then you get one drink with that. And you just, you know, chill in. I think it's negative five or something but yeah probably want to do that that's one of the fun things to do here when we're passing the snow is melting like right on the side of the road beside us haven't seen any snow in this city itself but coming in it was for reason you can tell it's springtime i know in october <laughs> they were just getting the snow was just melting all right so i'll take you around this town with us that you see it is super cute so different from where we just left so that's fun all right all right so this is our little neighborhood or houses that white one back there um we're gonna go find food it is the center is 11 minute walk they're about 13, 13. well it could be less because we just mapped it to a random place but it's like 11 10 to 13 15 minutes okay but the thing with this town is it's a lot of hills so that 10 minute walk is gonna turn into 30 minute walk for me coming back up going up unfit and disabled you guys if you don't have kids yeah <laughs> keep it that way anywho so we're gonna walk down get some food and like I said check out the bar probably so we're gonna do everything we need to do in the city today like just exploring the city there's 
something to stop into and see you know all the exploring of the city itself because tomorrow we're gonna see the glaciers and I'm so excited I already bought the bus ticket we're not gonna do a tour we're just gonna go by ourselves um, so when we came into the bus station just go ahead and stop it in one of those uh, places the bus uh, companies in the terminal and just grab a ticket it was 17,000 Argentinian pesos and I need to see how much Chase charged me because if you know about the blue dollar yeah I haven't gone into that yet you guys because I'm still like it's a struggle out here there's an official dollar where that $17 would, would have cost me like 30 or so dollars US but if you do it at the blue rate you're getting that's gonna cost me $17 so never ever use the official rate um, if you're using your Visa MasterCard it will convert to the blue rate the blue dollar rate and if you're changing money go to one of these little places that they will give you the blue rate so right now the blue rate is 960 to one and the official is 300 and something so you can see that's like a big difference and I'll sit down and explain it to you at some point some more because it's still like just all over the place and then if you're coming and changing cash bring crisp $100 bills if you bring anything lower you're not gonna get the full rate like I just changed some 20s because that's all I had from where did I have the last time and that's just all they were given so they that country I think it was Peru wasn't even giving you anything over $20 so I had more US from there but then here they want nothing under 100 so it's like you know the countries are different Hola. <laughs> so it's just all over the place you guys um, so then what was I saying so for my 20 I only got seven seven hundred and seventy from Western Union probably could have gotten it better somewhere else but I just wanted to get a little bit of and I only changed 40 and then just change the chilling pesos that I have I had left a couple so I got 160 less than the official going rate right now which is still good because the official blue rate the blue rate because if I change it for the official rate I would have gotten like three something and lost a ton of money more on that later for now we're gonna go find some food you can see what this town is looking like since I'm walking and talking. It is pretty, it's not too cold, it's still windy. I don't think it's as windy as where we're coming from, but we'll see. All right, we are in the center or somewhere. So now we're just walking to see if we can find something to eat real quick. No idea where we're going. We're just walking aimlessly as usual to see everything that we can see. The music was super high. It was loud. I was trying to explain to you guys. Uh, we found this restaurant, the first one that we saw. We just walked in. The prices looked pretty good. Uh, we did see Guanaco and heard that that's one of the things to try. So <laughs> Kalel being the adventurous eater, he went ahead, ordered the Guanaco. And Jarell and I did the lamb because, you know, we're vanilla. <laughs> but everything was pretty good, you guys. The um, prices were not bad. Here you can see cocktails were about $4 and change. A beer was under a dollar. Um, certain drinks, five, six dollars. The meal itself, nothing was super expensive. But you can eat really well in Argentina. And we have been absolutely enjoying it. This is the lamb I ate in Chile, you guys. Look at that. I don't know if you can see through the, the mural. But yeah, they're doing that roasted lamb too. But that dinner was really good. That place was good. It came out to 24000 Argentinian and the chase took 27.77 on my account so they're not giving me the official blue rate I got less like 860 which is like nine cents difference but it is whatever it's fine um, I think the only way to get that official blue rate is if you bring crisp $100 US bills or transfer from 
um, Western Union. So you can send yourself money through Western Union and you'll get that good rate. So, but it's fine. All right, so now I'm just gonna walk around a little bit and see the town. Ooh, look at this place. This looks pretty. Me like Z. And of course, there's tours everywhere down here, or, or tourist office. So you can just walk, come in, and find somebody that will take you. They have the full day tours to El Chalten. And I wanted to go there, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to. Because we have to go three hours and then come back to go to the airport to go to Ushuaia. It's, exactly no, it's not expensive. Oh, one them. But kilo. it's not. Uh, this one's exactly it's not horrible. But I don't know. I don't know. I think I have to choose between there and Ushuaia. And I think people are saying that they prefer, you know, El Chat Chatlin. But I mean, Ushuaia is the end of the world. So probably we'll just do that. We'll see. When we go back this evening, we will figure out our lives, and then I'll see what's happening. I've kept the video going, you guys, so you could hear of how Jarrell just sold me on buying him artisanal ice cream from this super cute place like everybody's eating at. So we're gonna go in there. That's him. He just sold me on buying ice cream. Oh my gosh, you guys, that ice cream. Okay, I'm only eating artisanal ice cream from now on. Why are they doing this, you guys? Why are they like this? But yeah, that was so good. And it was not expensive. Like, that was a good price. So now we're just going to turn back and start heading the way back to home. So we're not too far of a walk away. Because we just kept walking the other, other side. So we're now like maybe 20 or so minutes away. But yeah, uh, we're gonna stop in the supermarket, try to get some snacks and stuff for tomorrow. Doing the glacier tomorrow. I am so, so excited. I know I said that before probably, because I am excited. We're doing the glacier tomorrow, so we're gonna get some food. And then maybe get something for dinner. So when we come back, we don't necessarily have to come into town. Although food is so inexpensive, like we should just be eating out all the time. But yeah, it is so different and way more people here than in Puerto Natal is. Like this place is packed full of tourists. So I guess this is the section to come at this time of the year. I don't know. But yeah, it's a ton of people. You guys, look at these wines. How is it a dollar and change for wine? I know Argentina is wine central, but this is ridiculous. These wines are for braids. I don't even know which one to choose. I want a bottle of wine. But I I'm trying to find that wine that we I just had or something like it. I'll figure it out in a second, but yeah, so far these prices are crazy. This is so cheap, my goodness. All right, so we went to the supermarket and I'm giving you an idea of some of the prices that's here. This wine, I, I don't know what it is you guys, I just picked up a wine. <laughs> this was 2049 so that's like $2 and a couple cents. Wait, what's going on here? Did I break this just now? Or is, I don't know. But this was like $2. Um, the water, the Nestle water, this was 331. Oh my goodness, 331, you guys. That's 30 something, 40 cents for a bottle of water? Okay, that's crazy. That's trippy. I didn't even realize it was that inexpensive. The Oreo was 1275. Um, it's almost one to one, so you know, kinda ish. A little bit more, so just to get an idea. The toothpaste was no, the toothpaste was where's the toothpaste? I don't see it yet. Hold on. <laughs> the marmalade, where I have some some jelly here for tomorrow for lunch by the glaciers. We got some strawberry marmalade. This was it said six thousand and change. Six thousand no six hundred and seventy-five. So sixty-seven cents thereabout. 
and then the toothpaste I picked toothbrush I picked these up because I think we're running out of toothbrush I brought a ton we had a ton of toothbrush just like super cheap toothbrush or free because I used a coupon but we picked up this one this was a uh, 500 and change the triple action toothpaste was 900 and change so under a dollar like 50 cents for toothpaste the cheese was also super inexpensive I think this was like Okay, so 749 so 70 something cents for this. And then I just saw these cookies probably go great with my wine sitting by the glacier. This was 400 and change, so 40 something cents. And then I got deodorant. This original Dove was 900 and change. No, the deodorant was 803 Argentinian peso for this, so 80 cents. Where are you finding deodorant for 80 cents, you guys? And then I just picked up this one. It's a roll-on. I, I don't really like these, but I've been running out of roll-ons, you know, deodorant a little bit. So I'm like, whatever. Let me just pick up two because it was cheap. It was 400 and a change. 406. So 40 cents. 41, 42 cents for some deodorant. So I'm like, wow. So everything came to... And we bought soda. I don't know what they did with the soda. It, the Sprite was... Sprite was 675, 67 cents for Sprite. Even with, you know, the not perfect conversion, it would be like 70 cents for this bottle of Sprite. Ridiculous. Everything came to 11,581. Let me go into Chase real quick and see what conversion Chase gave me. Cause it's so hard to keep track of everything you guys. Cause the, let me see. Because the conversion isn't, you know, just a standard. Uh, da, 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 da. Chase charged me $13.40 for all of this. That is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> no, what is... Oh, I, I got milk. I forgot about the milk. Yeah. So, see, we got even milk. We got... <laughs> this is some decent stuff. And the bread, I didn't even mention the bread. We got bread for the sandwich, we got cheese and jelly, marmalade for the sandwich and that. So we're gonna make her the um, picnic by the glaciers. But yeah, that's crazy. Like we're not gonna get this anywhere. This is the cheapest. Oh, the Oreos. You guys, I didn't even tell you half of this stuff. Did I tell you about the Oreos? I don't know. But yeah, that was a good deal for 13 bucks. Good morning, you guys. Good morning from El Calafate, Argentina. It is a cloudy day. The forecast did say the two days were here would be cloudy like go figure um, and yesterday was sunny and bright but today we are going down to the glaciers so excited to see this massive massive glacier and a tip I'll have the number just in case you want it um, we texted a taxi not too long ago that the Airbnb host gave us and he said it was 40,000 or she said it was 40,000 to take us to the glacier which is way less than buying the bus uh, per person and I should have thought about that um, sometimes the taxes do work out cheaper if it's you know more than one people so look into that before you book for more than one if it's the bus if you're just one person you're doing the bus is 17,000 that's super inexpensive but once you start adding people, might as well just take a taxi. So we could have saved, we could have gotten private transport, you know, be more flexible, do what we want, leave when we want, instead of being on the bus. So I'm a little bit bummed I paid more. <laughs> Gotta save that dough, you guys. All right, so now we're just going down to the center to grab some uh, coffee before we leave. And then we just um, head to the bus terminal and get on our bus. Alright, so we just stopped at the entrance that we paid to get in. It is 12000 per person. It's about $13 or so. And if you go back tomorrow, it's half off. So save your ticket if you want to do a second day.
Oh my goodness, we are here and it's flurry, it's snowing, raining. It's doing something. Okay, so we're gonna go in, get our ticket, probably use the restroom and then start the walk. All right, you guys, so we are walking. Oh my gosh. Yes, we are here. We are here and that is ridiculous. Looking at the glacier like this thing is massive. So we're just gonna do one of the walks. I don't know if it's different. We saw like two different entrances. We're gonna walk and try to get as close as possible. Um, I think it's a decent truck. But yeah, let's go look at this map right here. Oh my goodness. Alright, so this is the central. We're taking the central road. There's a couple roads that you can take. They have one that's accessible. Like um, there, I think there's like five or six. God, look at that. So we're going to the central route where you can get up close and personal with it. So this is the way. It takes an hour, it said. One to, um, there's one for 30 minutes, one 45 minutes, an hour, hour 15 <laughs> minutes, and I think there was one for an hour and 30 minutes. So you choose the one that you want. You guys I need to just set my camera up and leave it because every so often a piece of ice falls down and I've been trying to catch it forever but I want one of those big ones I like, can you imagine seeing one of these fall off one of these ginormous ones you saw a couple of tiny ones I mean tiny in scale to those ones but and then some people are standing down there they're like literally just setting up shop they're not moving <laughs> And I'm like, oh my god, but this is ridiculous. This is crazy. This is absolutely amazing. I cannot believe we have this opportunity. It is surreal. I'm humbled. Yeah, so like I was saying, this is the main part that breaks off. So we're staying here for a little bit so we can see if we can catch something. And then we're gonna eat. We're getting our lunch ready. Look, we are. This is so cool. Everybody else has like pre-made sandwich from the shop, and we're like making our own. That wine is good, you guys. That wine is sweet, perfect Moscato type. Then we have jam. We have cheese. We have some Oreos. Yeah, this is this is amazing. Just look, lunch with a view. Okay, in front of the. We gotta go around because everybody started coming here now. <laughs> everybody started coming here now because this is uh, the main part, hoping to see something. But yeah, lunch, you guys. So good. watching you guys only small pieces keep falling and I keep missing them but I see them but just not on camera but this is just amazing like I'm eating cheese drinking wine <laughs> watching the ice fall from a glacier in Patagonia Argentina like this is this is life this is ridiculous this is amazing Oh, and the boat tour I really think the boat tour is worth it like I don't know if you can see the boat there but they close you know pretty close they can't get that close so. but you're down there you guys so. can you just imagine just how amazing it is being on the water it's only like $16 or so per person definitely I would do that but I wanted to do this and ooh, 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 ice ice it's breaking but it's on the inside sometimes it keeps falling on the inside so you can hear it but you can see it but yeah if you have enough time just do the boat tour 
and walk I'll do both So we climbed back up and we're just gonna wait on the bus for a little bit but that, that this is just crazy you guys this is amazing if you get a chance before you die do it I mean you can come in the afterlife but <laughs> oh my goodness 